Hey everybody, it's Dave, and I'm going to take you through a quick overview of Amion.com. This is our, the new scheduling software that we're using in our department. So you're going to go to the web address, www.amion.com. That's going to take you to the logon page. And the logon password is K-P-S-B-E-D. So you type in all lowercase, K-P-S-B-E-D, hit, hit enter, and that's going to take you to the master schedule page for our department. Um, I've created a fictional schedule for the, only for the month of December so that everybody can kind of see how Am I On works and so that I could play around with the software. Um, so this is the master schedule. This has the whole department. If I, if I want to make this a little bigger, follow my cursor. I use There's a little a and a big A. If I click on the big A, it makes everything a little bit bigger. If I click on the big A again, it makes everything bigger. Um, so you can see uh, everybody can work check that out themselves. The other nice feature is if you go over here where it says highlight, we'll click on the drop down menu. If I pick a doc like uh, Connie Tang, it'll highlight her name wherever it is on the master schedule. If she wants to swap shifts with somebody else, there's actually an option where you can highlight a second person. Let's say she wants to swap with Ramos, and that'll actually highlight both Ramos and Tang for the month so they can see where they're working and maybe they want to swap. Anyway, the best way to navigate Amelion is by using these little icons. If you see where my cursor is pointing, there are these little icons at the top, and that's really the best way to get around. If I hover the cursor over any one of the icons, something pops up that tells you a little bit about what that icon is for. So if I click this binoculars icon, which is the next one, it'll show who's on call for any given day. So here's a schedule for Friday, December 11th. Again, a fictional schedule. Um, it has the person's name, it has whether they're a per DM or staff. Um, and if you want to move forward, you can use the blue arrows again. That'll take you to Saturday, December 12th. Use the blue arrow, it takes you to Sunday, December 13th. If you want to go back, you can use the little blue arrow to go backwards. Let's say you wanted to see who's on call yesterday. You can go back to Thursday, December 10th. Um, but it's going to automatically take you to who's on for that particular day. I think this will be very useful for the, the clerks because um, we'll give them access to amion.com and they won't have to call us anymore to find out who's on. So moving on to the next icon, this one's a staff list. If I open this up, this basically just has everybody in the staff. It shows the per DMs are in blue, the full-time staff are in black. If you hover over the email address, it'll pop up that person's email address. If you go to the cell phone number, it'll pop up the cell phone number. All right, we're going to move on to the next icon, which is vacation schedule. This says who's on vacation. Um, I don't have that populated, so you, but when I do, you'll be able to see who's on VL for any given time frame. Now, the next icon I'm going to hover over is called My Schedule. It's probably the most important one for everybody. It's really useful. You click on My Schedule, you can create a schedule for anybody. So let's do Jay Donson. I'll click on Jen's schedule. Go to the month that you want, which is December, and hit Create Schedule. And that's going to take us to this page, which shows um, the whole month of December for just Jen Donson. It'll show when she's working and where she's working. Um, and again, I can make it bigger by clicking the big A or smaller by clicking the little A. Um, and then once you have her schedule, you can actually navigate with these blue arrows forward. This is December for Jen. If she wanted to go to January of 2016, which I have not yet put in, she can just navigate this blue arrow and click on it to the right and I'll take her through each month so she can go backwards and forwards that way. All right now so that's again you, you access that through these little icons at the top and that one's called my schedule. The next one is called my requests okay and I'm actually going to open this up to real-time requests for everybody to use. At this point you guys can submit me your requests for February, March, and April. Um, and so if I click on this little happy face, that's my request, it's going to take me to submit work preferences. And this is how each of you are going to submit your work preferences each month. So it says, Jay Donson, until you set up the password, you must log in with a link or starter password we sent you. So if you click email, and that's what I'm going to do for Jen, I'm going to click email. And now it says, sent an email to jendonson at gmail.com. I put all of your email addresses in there, so it should send each of you an email. If it doesn't, it means maybe I entered your email wrong. Please contact me right away and we'll get that sorted out. So once I do that, now I'm going to go to Jen's email. 
this is her Gmail. It says she's got an email from Amion. So I'm going to click on Amion. And it says here your personal password is JD8OG. You click here to choose the days or shifts you'd rather not work. So let's do that. I'm going to click there. And it's going to take me to the Amion uh, preferences. So here you got to read very carefully, right? It says select days you cannot work or you want to select days you can't work. I'm going to tell you don't do days you can work. Just leave it on days you cannot work and then submit your preferences. Okay? So if let's say you so Jen's going to go ahead and pick off I can't work the first weekend of December and she definitely doesn't want to work on Christmas Eve or Christmas or maybe that whole weekend or hey, let's take the whole week off. All right, so obviously I told you this is fictional. So then Jen's going to submit her preferences. Now she can also send me notes. Notes. Hey Dave. I don't want to work any holidays. So if you guys want to send me messages, go ahead. Uh, as long as they're not unreasonable like this one, I'll probably accommodate them. So now this is uh, very helpful to me. Anyway, there's another way to submit your preferences. So again, you're going to go ahead and highlight these. Jen can move on forward to January. Oh wait, oh, this is you have to choose the day of the month to post the note. Um, let's skip that for now. If you guys want to send me any specific instructions, do me a favor, just email me directly. I want to work four on, four off. I want to work consecutive nights. Anything you want specifics, just email them to me at this time. Um, so let's get rid of this. But for submitting work preferences, okay, so now Jen's going to move through January. She's going to go ahead and click the days off she wants, okay. She can go ahead and move through February. And then once you've done all that, then you're going to submit your preferences by clicking submit. Now there's something else I'm going to show you. And this is, you can not only select the days off that you can't work, but you can select the shifts that you can't work. So let's go to shifts. This is going to show you every shift for every day in the month of December. Now because Jen's clicked the 4th, 5th, and 6th, it clicks off every shift. But let's say, let's say Jen is going away on a flight on the 4th, and she knows she leaves early in the morning. Well, she really wants to be able to work on the 3rd to get her hours, but she can't work the night shift because that's going to really screw her up. So she can go ahead and click, I don't want to work the 5P, the 9P, the 10P, or the 10P, or the 12A, okay? and she can submit her preferences that way. So again, you can su select shifts you can't work or days you can't work. So if we go back to days, now you can see that it shows a representation of which shifts she can't work on the 3rd of, of December. It shows the days she can't work, it shows the shifts that she can't work. Now I'm going to request that you guys generally stick to using these preferences just for days if on occasion you want to submit a shifts that you can't work, that's fine, but I'd appreciate you're not boxing me in. For example, if, if you're going to shifts and you're going to click off all the night shifts and you're going to click off all the Friday night shifts or the Saturday night shifts, it's just not going to work. And, uh, you know, I have the ability to allow people to select shifts or days. And if people really abuse the shift selection, well, then we're going to just have to make it go away. But hopefully I can accommodate everybody. I'm going to do my best. Um, anyway, once Jen did that, she's just going to go ahead and click Submit Your Preferences, and that's going to send that information to MION.com. Now, if she has changes after that, now I'm going to request that you guys only submit your preferences when you've got it all straightened out and you're sure what you want to do. Okay, if you have requests after you've submitted your preferences, I'm going to ask that you email them to me specifically. All right, now everybody whose preferences gets emailed to me, or sent to Am I On, it is going to have a timestamp on it so that I'll know when they submitted those requests. So in case of conflicts, I'm generally going to go with uh, whoever submitted their requests first. So it's always in your best interest to submit your requests early. Um, and that's pretty much it for right now. I don't have anything else to tell you. Right now I'm just going to go back to the main uh, schedule page and I'm going to end this video. Um, please feel free to play around. There's a couple other functions here. There's one that's a sigma up here. If you click on the sigma, that shows hours tally, uh, an hours tally for each day. So if you want to see, for example, how many night shifts is, Jen, is Dave working, or Jen working, or anybody working, you can actually use this 
and it'll show you the sums for everybody in the department. It shows how many shifts, how many holidays, weekends, weekdays. Um, part of that may be uh, a little bit, uh, I think that once it, when I initially published a schedule, it's good for people to take a look at. But once people start swapping shifts and giving shifts away to per DMs, Right, the hour tally is going to be constantly changing. So if people think that, uh, you know, after a few months, they look at it and say, hey, wait, this person only had five night shifts, it means that they gave away their shifts. Um, the other nice thing about the schedule is if anybody gives away a shift, it's going to flag that shift, and it will show that it was not their original shift. It'll show who they swapped with and um, what the swap was. Anyway, that's it for the video today. Please approach me in the emergency department for any questions of Am I On. Feel free to email me. And that's it for my video. Thanks.